Okay, if you're one of those people who are doing back extensions, McKinsey back extensions to help you with your extension range, or you're recovering from a disc problem, and you're struggling with the actual range of extension, then I've got some two home exercise or home and gym additions you can do to help you with that range of movement stiffness problem. What I mean by that is, if you are doing a McKenzie extension, so this stretch here, and you're struggling with how much range you're getting up there. So say you get to the point where you're coming up and then you just can't seem to go any further. It's not painful. So this is not for someone who is, like if you're getting lots of pain there, this is not the exercise for you to do. This is for when you're getting up there and you're going, there's no pain, but I just feel like I've lost my range. There's stiffness there and you want to feel like you can stretch. But when you try and push upwards, your pelvis just comes up because you're so stiff in your lumbar spine. Now this is probably because that stiffness has been there for a long period of time. And if you haven't got a physio on tap to stretch you out and help you with extension, then you do exercises either with a towel or if you're in the gym, with a bar. And these are the sort of things we give people for homework. So when they come in the clinic, they get mobilized, they help them with the extension. When they go home, they got things to do at home while they're not seeing us. And I'm gonna show you those ones today. First one is with a towel. And I'm gonna use Claire here. This one you need a towel but you'll also need a partner at home or a friend in the gym, that sort of thing. What you do is you do your normal McKenzie, you go in that normal McKenzie position. They put the towel over your pelvis, so not over your lower back. So you don't put it over your lower back because you've got to bend your lower back. You don't want it over your lower back holding it. You want it holding your pelvis down, okay? So think of it over your bum, over the back of your sacrum there. They then stand either side, right next to your pelvis. So it's locking the towel down. The weight of the person is gonna keep that towel locked down. It's gonna keep my pelvis down. So now, when I push back into extension, there is a resistance there. It's nice though, but it's keeping me down. So it's not stopping my lumbar spine. I'm actually can then push over the towel and get more stretch without my pelvis coming up. And that's what's going to give me that extra little bit of load, which is like the physio holding you down when you do the McKenzie extension, or they mobilize, but it gives you that resistance to keep it down so you can extend over it. And with this one, you're just going to make sure that you go to the point where you don't go into pain. You've got to try and relax your tummy. Let the towel hold you down. So don't try and fight the towel, okay? Let it down, relax with that lumbar spine. So you've got to switch off all your glutes, switch off your lumbar spine, and then drive with your hands going backwards into that curve. Two or three seconds up, and then down. Let it relax, two or three seconds. Same sort of rules, two or three sets of 10, once a day, maybe three to five times a week, that's sort of until that stiffness resumes. Now, with that lumbar spine, it's not as good as mobilization, but it's the next best thing. And it does help people get more and more extension, which reduces their stiffness. But like I said before the start, don't do this if your extension is already painful. This has got to be something that is pain-free, but it's just stiffness that you sort of want to try and stretch out. So that's your first one. Now, second one is in the gym. So what you need for the gym one, use your mat, but you need, a bar. Now this is sorry, probably the best setup that you can go for, is see if you can get the bar low on the squat rack, or if you've got a Smith machine, if it goes that low, drop down. It just needs to be the height of your backside, all right? I would put the bar on there with some weight, just so it doesn't move anywhere, okay? It doesn't, that's only sort of 10 kilos each side, it's not much. It just be enough to sort of hold some weight down, exactly like what I had Claire doing, holding the towel down. But if you don't have a partner, this is what you need to do. So you're going from the front side, so you can sort of shimmy in. You just gotta get your legs under. So I would go legs sideways, and then you just shimmy back until it gets to your sort of bum like that, okay? So now it's holding me down, okay? It's not over my back, it's over my pelvis. Same drill with that. Go back into here, pushing backwards. Now you may find, oh, that's getting me a little bit there. It's not as forgiving as a towel. You go forward a little bit more, and then you can find that it's holding me down, and then I can extend backwards like that. Okay, so it's a really good tool to just keep the pelvis down, because that's ultimately what you're doing. The stiffness of your lower back lets the pelvis rise, and because the pelvis rises, you can't actually mechanically stretch that lumbar spine. So if you hold the pelvis down, 
then you can stretch against it. And that will provide you with that extension to this range that you need, which is gonna improve your general extension range. So once you've done all that, you'll probably find when you go back to normal extension, say in standing, this movement here, you've probably got a lot more range. And that, reducing that stiffness is probably gonna be one of the key factors in you making you feel a lot better in your lower back. So if you're one of those people who are doing those extension stretches for extension range, maybe for reduce old disc sort of bulge problems, try those two if you're struggling with the range and you've got no pain to see if that improves your range. That's all for this week. See you next time.